So, let me reintroduce myself. I am Jester de Rama, and we are doing a donation stream for Edward Hughes. And he is going to be moving to York. Not New York, York. It's in Europe. But, hey, if you have anything to spare, you donate to the email, zachmanzacky at mac.com. It's in the chat, or you can donate down below to me, and I will send the money over so that we can make sure that our good friend Edward, aka official Keiko and Gilly, will make sure he can make his journey. So, let's play some Undertale. Now, I won't read the intro since you guys have seen the intro. I know I should be doing this like a regular Let's Play, but... I played this before as the Doctor with, uh, Derpy. As played by Bald Dumberat, aka Jitterbug Jive. So. Let's play Undertale. Oh yeah, I actually had a controller that I could have used, for, I could have used this for this. Um. Yeah. Can I click? No. Okay. Let's get my name in there. S T R E. I Name the fallen human, Jester. Wait a second. What? I thought that... I thought that I had fallen down and I was supposed to see Flowey. Okay, is there clouds? Are there cloud saves now for Undertale? Oh. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused! Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. I'm moving. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness palettes. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Oops. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> I wanted to do I wanted to do the laugh. <laughs> okay, now we're where I thought it should be. What a terrible creature, torturing a, such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way.
Back to the ruins. Let's save. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay. Now I want to see if I can go back further. Okay, I can. Golden flowers. They must have broken your fall. Now, for right now, I need to do a standard playthrough with maybe some liberties taken. Oh, wait a second. That's the sigil right above the door. How did I not notice that before? Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read the signs. Yeah. Still there. Okay, <laughs> I'll stay on the path. The first switch is over on the wall. Do you need some help? Press the switch on the wall. Come on, you can do it. Okay, that's a repeat. Please press the switch, Toriel. Go on, press the switch on the left. You do know which way left is, do you not? Press the switch that I labeled for you. Please press the switch too, Toriel. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, a little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. <laughs> wow. So regardless, I would have been fine. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do. You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles! Well, I thought it was amusing. Practice talking to the dummy. You can say anything. The dummy will not be bothered. Let's fight a dummy. You encountered the dummy. Dummy. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Oh, I didn't, couldn't do that other thing. I wanted to kind of do one little tidbit that I thought was funny. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it.
Frog, it attacks you. Whoa, no. Oh, I'll, I'll be nice. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway by the compliment. Glare. Slink away. <laughs> the western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Yeah. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Cute. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Yeah, just running along. Having a good time. Feel more relaxed now they're not fighting Bonnie off. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. What if there's anything secret about those vines? I see you, Toriel. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Let's say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello! I hope that suffices. <laughs> Click. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? Oh, let's see what I'll do it a third time. This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with the fist of iron. Can you do that for me? She is getting even cuter now that I'm actually having more cell conversations. Let's try again. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Oh, that's the end of that. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Oh, sorry, I thought this was something different. Oh, let's just call her mom again. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me... Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like! Let's flirt. Huh? Oh! <laughs> How adorable! 
I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Oh dear, are you serious? And after you said you wanted to call me mother? You are an... interesting child. Okay, 